So this is the Q&A video that I've talked about in my post the other day and you had actually so many questions. I think there were over 100, which is insane um, because there are already so many questions in the comments. So I'm just gonna read the questions that were under this post, the Q&A, and yeah, I'm just gonna answer as we go. Do pilots hang around with the cabin crew on layovers or do they split up? So that really depends from crew to crew. It really depends on the time, how tired people are, but yeah, we hang together. Have you been to Philippines? Yes. <laughs> this is a funny one. Do you meet a lot of single men on the job? I'd be in every city, lol. There are a lot of people who take advantage of this job and they just have fun in every city they go. But at the same time, I have to tell you all the stories you hear about pilots and flight attendants. Not really true. At least from my own experience and from the stories I've heard. Not really. If I heard stories or like very interesting stories, it would be between crew, like flight attendant and another flight attendant. So just to let you know. <laughs> How many years of college did you have to do to become a flight attendant and what qualifications do you have to be? You don't need to go to college, you just need a high school diploma, you don't need any qualifications. You just need to speak good English, uh, you need to look presentable, you need to have the high school diploma and that's basically it. This is very very easy, at least for Emirates Airlines. Other airlines? I don't know. How old are you and what is the country you like the most? I'm 28. And uh, I don't really have a specific country, but I really like USA because of the nature, because of the national parks, yeah. Do what do you think we should take with us to Dubai as a new joiner? I think just take whatever you have at home and you like and you cannot live without it and go minimal because I personally, I brought quite a lot of stuff with me which I didn't, didn't necessarily need. But what I would recommend is bring your own, like bring your favorite um, beauty products or hygiene products because not everything you can get in Dubai. For example, I don't know, my favorite brand of toothbrushes, not sold in Dubai. But that's really just for the new joiners because once you start flying, you can get your stuff from all around the world. And oh my goodness, then all your issues are solved. I don't even know what I packed when I first got there. What did I pack? I remember I was buying comfortable shoes because I thought that I'm just gonna be walking on the sand all the time, <laughs> which is not the case. Um, you spend more time in the taxi than uh, on the sand. And then I remember very comfortable shoes for the training. You need like a pair of black shoes. Yeah, I just remember I bought very comfortable ones because you spend every day in those shoes. Yeah. Did you get the job at the first application? I didn't and I would like to try again. Yes, I did get the job at the first application, um, but I consider myself lucky because before I went for the interview, so many people were telling me, you know, oh, my friend, she's tried like six times and she never got the job. So everyone was like stressing me out and then I went there, but I, I prepared myself, so I don't know, but I'm really gonna do the video about that later. I remember the day uh, I went for the interview, there were girls with me. One of them, she even flew to Germany for an open day to try in Germany. She didn't get it. So then she like went to Prague again to try in Prague. Definitely go and try again because it always depends on the group. Like what are the people there with you? Um, if you're like too stressed, if you're not very like in your own skin, you know, that day. Um, I think it's actually good when you... Okay, ah, it's easy for me to say because I got the job at the first application, but I think the failure is the biggest lesson you can ever get because once you walk out of there knowing you didn't get it that's the time when you realize okay i need to work on this i need to improve my english i need to improve this this and that and you really try hard i think at least in my own experience with other jobs if i didn't get it i would try really hard and work on myself to to get it the next time so um and you know see the positive in the negative 
Okay. Is the pay good for how much you have to do? Are you always tired? <laughs> do you like the Emirates uniform? Um, it's good for what you do and it's not. I mean, that really depends because you have to count the benefits you have as well. So if I said no, the money isn't good for what you do, then probably I would never apply for the job because let's be honest, everyone wants to travel for free, everyone wants to have those discounts. Uh, no matter what and the pay is quite good like you can save money and everything so I'm not gonna say it's not good but sometimes the job is very demanding very tiring so you're always like ah it's not worth it you know blah 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 but then you realize okay I can travel basically for free uh, are you always tired yes <laughs> do you like the Emirates uniform yes I actually like the uniform I there's definitely more uniforms in the world that I like better or I would like to try one day you know like how is it to work in a different uniform but um, if you don't work for Emirates and you see the uniform at least it's what I feel like you're like oh my god such a nice uniform and then you go you work for Emirates for a couple of years and you get tired of it you get sick of it so you start saying like yeah it looks horrible it's ah uh, it's awful but actually, in reality, all the other people, they love it. Passengers, they love it. They just look at you and it's so classy. So I actually like it. How heavy is the airplane door? I have no idea. It's heavy. <laughs> can you dye your hair? Yes, you can. Uh, however, you always have to stick to the rules of the image and uniform. So um your hair always needs to look natural like if you're blonde like me for example i can do some highlights but it needs to look it has to look like my own hair it cannot look like oh i have some roots over here and then like blonde from here mm, yeah it has to look natural are you from russia no i'm not from russia <laughs> What are the benefits on working with Emirates? Do they cater your accommodation in Dubai? Tell us your journey on applying to making it happen as flight attendant. So benefits are, there's loads of benefits. The best of them is you get 90% discount on all the tickets, all the tickets from uh, Emirates. And then there is a bunch of airlines and it's actually a lot of airlines you get discounts for. Those tickets are, not confirmed so it means you can buy them but it's not confirmed that you're gonna get the seat on the plane because these are the cheapest tickets and you'll be the last one to get it on the plane but you can check beforehand how full is the flight if it looks like there's gonna be a seat for you or not once a year you get a free ticket to go back to your home country you get 90 percent discounts for your parents i think twice a year and then more times a year i think it's four times uh it's 50 percent off for them as well about the accommodation yes you get a free accommodation when you get to dubai um, there is different accommodations across Dubai and you cannot really pick so the company is gonna pick it for you and yeah it's for free you can move afterwards how often can you change your accommodation can you choose in which do you want to live and you can change after your probationary period I think which is six months but I, I think it really depends because for example like a couple of years ago um, Emirates they froze the whole accommodation moving so no one could move anywhere if you want to change within the company accommodation you have to like apply and of course there is a lot of people applying a lot of people want to change their accommodation so there's like a waiting list as far as i know because i've never changed accommodation um yeah but you can do that Luc Dvořáková je zásky, mě by zajímalo, jestli si ti někdy dělá špatně v letadle. Máš s tím nějaké zkušenosti, byl to zká video. Ok, so she's asking if I'm ever sick in the plane. I'm actually not. If I'm ever sick, it's gonna be from the food. <laughs> or because I'm not feeling well, but turbulence has never been an issue of mine. I actually like turbulence. But I guess so many flight attendants are gonna, you know, say the same thing because we love turbulence. <laughs> um, I think most of us do. Have you seen any Emirates employees with sticky out ears? My ears are like this and I would like to apply to join, but a little hesitant. 
I, I don't know if I've seen someone with like super sticky ears, but I think I did because so when I wear my low bun, and this is what you can do for your interview as well, I wear it like this, right? So I have my bun with my ears out, but a lot of the curls, they would pull the ears away with their hair, you see? So if you do this for interview, it should be fine because then you can actually wear this hairstyle at work, you can wear it all the time and no one will ever notice your ears. But that's just my opinion. Does Emirates teach you how to take care of your skin? Yes, in the training Emirates will teach you how to apply your makeup the way they want you to do it. They will teach you some basics about skincare and stuff like that. I want to do an in-depth video on skincare soon, hopefully, because um, I've shared a skincare video, the one which is called Go to Bed With Me recently, and that is a very simple, simple skincare routine that I'm showing you. So I want to do a very detailed video for you uh, as well, because I'm really, really, really interested in skincare. and. I've been trying a lot of serums and products and acids and stuff like that that I want to share with you because my skin changed a lot over the years. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> so thanks for watching, have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye!